And so back in Australia, like you started like to learn IT. Yep. And and the first job that you got when you got graduated was like an IT job or like was it related to Salesforce directly or was no, it something else? Yeah, not at all. So I started with just a software developer. Okay. And I was really, really lucky, you know, considering I was an international student at the yeah. time. There was a company who was looking for kind of grads, effectively just entry level folks to join their team. It was a small startup. It was New Zealand based company okay. and with a local branch. There was a small team. Yeah. Uh, I think we started about five, six people sort of. And then we grew up to like roughly about 12. Yeah, it was a good brand, but it was absolutely non Salesforce related. Oh, okay, yeah. Proper software development. So I've done um, I've done coding of like front end, middleware, yeah. middle tier, rather parts of the applications. <laughs> I've done work on database yeah. and you know, thinking back those days, like if anyone remembers like things like DB2, Oracle, like the good old SQL server, yeah. like I've done all of them like directly. And and I guess by doing all of these different parts of like software development, this always add value today when you work with Salesforce. Uh, I'm just thinking about marketing cloud personalization and the sitemap, like just like the client side and the server side, all this notion, I guess, like having this background of IT and technology really helps once you start working with Salesforce products. Yeah. Do you know what, and, and probably even more so now I'm seeing that when, when I was in Salesforce professional services, yeah. it was a bit, maybe a bit different because the methodologies, for example, that we followed in, in the way we deployed solution and then kind of maintain the code and configuration is yeah. a bit different. But these days, because we will now work across broader Salesforce platform, a lot of the knowledge that kind of gain and acquired an experience at the time yeah. when I was doing software development, it's still very much relatable and kind of transferable to that. Because what I find with Salesforce, I've been always kind of a believer in that. And I yeah. think it's true. It is a formal IT sort of solution. So when you configure things, despite the fact that you can do a lot of the work in the UI, yeah. you know, if you think about organizations where you need proper change management, lifecycle for deployment, yeah. so you've got like DevOps and all the other tools, that all pretty much standard software development lifecycle. Yeah. So you kind of have to know how, you know, configuration goes into one environment, then you promote the code, code changes, all this stuff. And then maybe one of the other things to say, is you said, having IT background was yeah. super helpful because yeah, I've done the work, a lot of the work like on the front end, as well as like middle tier sort of part of the applications. Yeah, It helped tremendously understanding and kind of absorbing and kind of relating to things, how the sort of applications work within the cloud. Oh, yeah, like yeah. the behavior of an application. Yeah. And and I guess, yeah, that's very interesting. 